Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just got back home and I've been seeing on my TL that some Nigerian senators or politicians have been acting up in the House of Assembly. So I decided to make this reaction video. I know, I know, I promised myself that I would never make reaction videos, but this is too interesting to pass up. So yeah, I'm gonna watch the videos and show you guys what I'm watching as well. And yeah, you see my reaction to them. Let's see what they have to say. Mr. Speaker, we need to address certain things. The Nigerian youth, the social media, the social influencers, all of these are making the narrative that we are seeing today. Except we are joking with ourselves. Social media, yes, though good, has its negative impact. Let me first thank you for condemning the wanton killings and carnage that happened at Lekki. When I went through the comments, I could not believe it, Mr. Speaker. The curses, the abuses from children. And I ask myself, is this Nigeria? What is going on? Children cursing? People having the effrontery to enter an Obas palace, hold the staff of office. Culture is gone. Mr. Speaker, in the next five years, there will be no Nigeria. If we don't start now. The youth is not only those who do the peaceful protests. Those who have looted, who have destroyed lives, they are youths as well. Mr. Speaker, pregnant women went into malls picked things and went away. When shall we change this narrative? I put it to all the celebrities out there. Okay, wait. First of all, I don't know what narrative he's talking about. Is it narrative that the Nigerian government is incompetent and have not done anything substantial to help prevent or did not do anything substantial to prevent the escalation of the, um, what's it called, the protest that ended up turning into a riot? Is that the narrative? Because that is the correct narrative. And why is he referring to people on social media as children? And how is he addressing more what the people said in the comment section? Like his feelings are hurt by them hauling insults at politicians because they fail to do their job than he spends on the condemnation on the killings. I I know like usually you'd pause in between the video to talk about whatever it is that I said. I wanted to say everything that he was going to say first. And they just kept going in I'm not sure what direction he was headed. He's saying that we are losing we are going to lose our culture. Culture of what uh, is he talking about respect? What is with the obsession with these people and respect? just for the sake of respect like okay respect this person just because they are in this position or just because they are this person or they're older than you it makes no sense if you are stupid you are stupid regardless of what age you are if you are doing a terrible job you are doing a terrible job if people are going to insult you for doing that then like fuck respect i don't understand the obsession with it and then he's talking about the looting in the malls and going into the obas palace what does that have to do with people commenting on the video of their fellow citizens being killed? How aren't you addressing the anger and the frustration that the people have, but you're addressing or blaming them for the looting that was happening? Man, he, he just seems lost. Like, I don't know what the hell he's going on about. Yes, and he's right. Social media does have some negative things, but it also has some good things. So far, most of the things that have been coming out with regards to this NSARS issue has been well intended. And I think the people who are also involved in it and everyone who is participating is aware that false news can travel really quickly. And I think they do try to cut it off um, at the source. But yeah. Wait, I'm gonna go back for a bit just to hear what he was saying. 
the youth is not only those who do the peaceful protest. Those who have looted, who have destroyed lives, they are youth as well. Mr. I'm curious to see if he was this passionate to come to the house to talk about people being shot, killed, beaten up, um, arrested unjustly, as he is about people expressing their frustration tr through like destroying properties and looting, which I don't necessarily support. But I'm just wondering where all this passion was when lives were actually being lost. Pregnant women went into malls, picked things and went away. When shall we change this narrative? I put it to all the celebrities out there. All the motivational speakers. This is the only country we have. The wealthy will go. When anything happened, what is our common saying? We die here. Please, celebrities, please, social media influencers, stop the hatred already. You have a means, constitutionally, to change government. It's called your P. Um, okay, that's the end of that first video. Uh, he's, it seems, I'm not sure if his message is being misunderstood. I'm not sure, maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but it seems like he's blaming the social media people who brought attention to the answers, hashtag and protest. It seems like he's blaming them for the looting. Just to, you know, quickly recap. Initially, there was a peaceful protest for almost two weeks and there were several attempts by some people who were who had like evil intents to come into the protest and cause disruption, you know, make it more rowdy, violent and whatever. And the people who were involved in the protests were kicking them out. I have videos of them kicking them out, stopping them. I didn't see, doesn't mean there weren't any sort of protection. But as far as I know, it didn't seem like there was any sort of protection from the government for the peaceful protesters. There was no acknowledgement from the government either, especially not from the president. Um, eventually, the thugs that there's been speculation and somewhat a bit of proof that they were sent by the um, some politicians to those protests, that eventually they were able to infiltrate the peaceful ones. And after, especially after the killing which the military did <laughs> why do these people keep leaving this thing out that the military of the the, gov the country's armed force actually came and shot at citizens why do people keep forgetting this how are you more passionate about people going into stores being upset destroying things which is obviously wrong than you are about your own country's military shooting its citizens I don't understand, like, what's with this obsession with title and power and not structure? I, anyways, um, yeah, so if it's the hatred that is being directed at the people in power, it's very well deserved. So I don't know why he's saying it should be stopped. Um, at the end of the video, though, he was right. Like, we do have the power now that... NSARS has been getting a lot of traction and attention. What we do need to do, I believe, is use our legal means to enact change. That's the only thing that will protect the citizens, laws, and having people who are in positions to enforce those laws and people who are in position to push for those, um, what's it called? The much needed reform or the laws or the amendments to the constitution that currently exists because these people that are currently there don't seem like they're interested in doing that they only seem like they're interested in doing what will benefit them the bare minimum and getting their 75,000 and you know fucking off to different countries for holiday and sleeping in the house during meetings and whatever um yeah let's go on to the second video
go to the elections. If you are tired, come and enter government. That's true. That's true. People are dying. The narrative must change. Government, Mr. Speaker, this is my prayer. From the National Assembly, we must decentralize the federal government. Regions must start to operate. It's obvious states are on their own. Regions should start operating. The narrative should start here. I so submit, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, end of that second part of his video. So it seems like he's being very, very passionate about destruction of properties and the loss of lives, but it's directed at the aftermath, like what happened after people had already been unjustly treated by the political system or the government or whatever it is that you want to call it i don't think it's fair for him to be pointing fingers at the youths or the children and the influencers and the people that have been genuinely trying to bring good change to the country for the negative outcome of the situation as a result of the lack of you know initiative by the government it was going on for more than like 10 days plus and you still hadn't done anything you haven't come out to say anything you've come out with some bullshit statement of how you've ended the SARS and there's still there's still videos of people going around and seeing these people still working and still beating people and still doing whatever the fuck it is they were doing like for the past three years they always came out every year to say that SARS has ended but well, we are here in 2020 still protesting that shit and that's why people were really frustrated and I don't understand how people don't understand this or oh, there's no sort of, it seems like there's no sort of empathy coming from him and I think that's why I saw a lot of reactions to it and people were really really upset and he had to come out and make an apology um, video on a news network um, it it's not as bad as I initially thought it was I think he's just expressing the frustration that he had from um, what's it called from all the things that he's seen and people have different reactions to the things that they see like I would initially have been frustrated seeing certain things based on the videos that I've seen of people getting killed and beaten up and all of that so like I said, at the end of the day, he's right. We do have the opportunity to remove people from the Senate or the House of Assembly, and we have the opportunity to vote people back into those positions. Right now, all we need are individuals who are actually competent and passionate and patriotic to be in those positions to help drive the country forward. And not people that just keep Man, they're just so useless, man. They're actually so useless.